Hi guys, so I got something a little different here to show. A little comparison. So, I just noticed the other day that K Energy has these cap dumps with the SCRs, which are actually awesome. I've actually I built one like that years ago. This is my first one ever cap dump I ever made. And it's, I think it's exactly the way K builds his. I haven't watched any of your videos lately, K, if you're watching this, but sorry I haven't noticed. But I think that's exactly. The only thing I noticed is I have uh, some different Zener diodes than what he uses, I think. These are old, scavenged out of some old electronics. But I just want to say why I don't use them too much. I did build this one here, though, just to make a video with a comparison, right? So. I'm just using one of these IC holders so I can uh, put them in series. So this first diode is a 36 volt, the next one's a 6 volt. I have it set up where I could just jab. I could actually put two more in there if I need, right? They're 40 amp SCRs. But the problem, the only, like, they work great with pulse motors. They don't use any en energy to run them. But, like, if, if you have a pulse motor that, like, say if I turn the voltage down, like, the power going into the motor a little bit, if I turn it down and only want it to, to idle type of thing, if it's not putting out a high enough voltage on the back spike, it won't even trigger the SCR. And it'll just sit there. And like in the, the case of these motors, when I, when the, when it's not dumping, like when it's at a higher voltage, not dumping the energy out, the rotor slows down and the input power goes down on the way I've got the magnet arranged and the firing of these coils, how it, how it works. Or in like a monopole it might not do that, but for me it, they just, it's not ideal. You can see that's why, right? As it, as the volt, the amperage comes down here, that means the voltage is high in the cap. And you can see here it's dumping pretty decent amount, right? Here's the scope shot. As you can see, as it dumps, it goes down to the battery voltage and then climbs back up to like 40, 47 volts or so. And as it, as this gets long down in the bottom right here, it actually slows the rotor down and uses less energy. And if I turn this down a bit, just turn this down, it won't even dump anymore. Because I've turned it down enough to where it's not going to trigger the SC the Zener to dump the SCR. Now it's stuck up there at the high voltage. And you can see the input current is going down and the motor is going to slow down now. But if I turn it back up just a hair, it will start to dump the. It will be enough to trigger it. There you go. Like and it's it's a real fine, fine line where it triggers and it where it won't trigger.
see which is good like you know if you're running a steady load rate you're not changing anything it's gonna always work the way you want it to work and it will dump the power which makes it a really nice circuit because it's so simple right there's no resistors there's nothing it's three pieces that's it whereas this circuit is really complicated well it's not to me but you know to somebody who doesn't know much about electronics it's not going to be easy to build this but this thing works awesome like you can you got so much adjustment with it it always fires uh, like when it comes to a cop dump like this this thing's dumping over 30 amps into that battery every time <laughs> and what I can do <clears throat> it's just a big big circuit of the like it's exactly the same as this just like bigger caps <clears throat> with solid state relays triggered you can see out here here's the voltage and <clears throat> what I do is I hold it on for a bit you can see how how it holds the current on right this is a battery I've been desulfating for a couple of weeks now like this and I have it to the point I have this adjusted to the point where that transformer is ready to melt down because I'm holding the power on right like look how hot it is and it just stays there on that temperature because of how I have it adjusted like it was really hot but this battery's probably 15 years old maybe older I don't remember how old it is but I know I bought that for my dad his green auger a long time ago when it's never really been used pretty much just sat and resulfated itself sulfated itself but it's almost recovered we'll have more updates on this I'll make a video on how how it like I've already made a couple videos I just haven't edited or uploaded it yet. <coughs> testing it but like for an SCR to do that, you can't do that with a Zener diode. Actually, hold hold the power on for a bit and turn it off. It's hard to do that, and for large amounts of energy like this, it might just trigger and stay on, which is another problem with them. But for this type of simple thing, yeah, it works pretty good. But it's hard to beat this because this only draws 10 milliamps. I'll make a comparison. Thanks for watching.